Coming this up in tote towel, copying this and pasting it across. And then we can also double check this way, summing up this way too, and we should get that to that same, to that same 474 as well. So what's gonna happen then when we, when we record this into the system, we're gonna say, we could look at it in total, the employees in total earned 6,983 but they're only going to get the 5,429. That's how much it's going to decrease the checking account, but it's going to be in two separate checks. The difference is going to increase the payroll liabilities, FIT, Social Security, and Medicare. Then we're going to have to pay over and above on top of that, the employer taxes, which we have generated or incurred at the point in time that payroll happened but which we have not yet paid, so cash isn't affected at the point payroll is processed for these taxes. Instead, they're going to increase the payroll liability and record the expense as payroll expense. Okay, so that means the total payroll liability we can put down here. This is going to be payroll liability. And we're going to say that we're going to have FIT. We're going to have Social Security. Social Security. We're going to have Medicare. We're going to have the total. And let's do some formatting on the black and white here. Black, white, and let's center. And let's format these as black and white. And then we'll just call this payroll, payroll liability. Okay, so the FIT is just going to be the employee, the employee tax. It's not our tax. The social security is the employee tax plus the employer side. The Medicare 